good morning everyone welcome to a new video so yeah i know i'm looking a little bit big haired at the moment i've just washed my hair and it's yeah it's a little bit big hopefully that will calm down by the time i get to where i'm going so it is the second day of half term <laughs> i have two weeks for half term as in my kids have two weeks for half term i'm only here for the first week and then i'm going away for the second week on my own without the children I'm going to go and see some family in canada if you've been following me on instagram you will know that i had an aborted attempt to get to canada in the sense that i got there we had some very bad news and i had to take the very first flight home again so i spent less than 24 hours in canada last time i went which was a month ago so i'm hoping that this time fingers crossed i will be able to go and stay there for a while i'm hoping to go for a couple of weeks so i am going to vlog when i'm there i hope i don't know i don't know how much there will be to vlog because i'm literally just going to go and stay with family i don't know why i'm standing up let's sit down i'm literally just going to canada to go and stay with some family and see an elderly aunt who i adore and that's the plan just to go and be with her so i'm not quite sure that there'll be anything to vlog when i'm in canada but i am out today so got up early washed my hair not sure that that was such a good idea because we are kind of very big haired today but yeah i'm off out now to meet a skincare brand uh, it's one that i haven't met before so i'll try and take you with me and then there's loads of canada prep to come so hopefully i'll be able to include you in all of that right now i'm thinking i need to do something about this hair you can't even see how big it is because of the angle but it is hold on i'm going to turn this around and you'll see can you see how big this hair is? It is rather, rather large, but we're gonna go with it. I'm sure it will dampen down by the time we get to where we're going. bathroom in the video because it's very dark but I did just want to show you the bathrooms here at the Mandrake because they are so beautiful appointment with Swiss line really really interesting I'm going to try out some of the products tonight and yeah I've got a busy day so I've already had lunch oh if you're interested which a few of you seems you are on Instagram I've been posting my what I eat in a day so kind of every meal that I've been eating I've been putting it up so that I don't know just to answer some questions about what I've been eating and I'm just moving into the bathroom because it is so dull and dark outside that I have to have the lights on. It's a bit yellow in here, so I'm really sorry about that. But um, everywhere else in the house, it is so dark. We've got the lights on everywhere. It is, I mean, would you believe it? It's about three o'clock in the afternoon, but it is, it's almost like it's early evening light. But I just, I came back to, I'm all over the place. <laughs> I came back to a long list of things to do. I've had a really quick lunch, but I did come back to a delivery, something that I'd ordered and it's arrived. So I thought I would just quickly open it up with you. I'm just gonna prop you up there, hopefully. Oh, it's so dark. So I have a delivery here from Net-A-Porter and it's actually something that I've been wanting for 
I don't know, like over a year. I've seen this on uh, another YouTuber, Lydia, and I am obsessed with it, obsessed. I don't even know if it would look nice on me or not. So I've seen this on Lydia and I just thought, I've waited this long and I still really want it and I think it's gonna be perfect for like winter clothing and just for everything really. So it's from Alexander McQueen and I hope that I've got the right size. I never know what size to get with these things. It is a belt. It's actually a double belt. It is, oh, I love the smell of the leather. It's a double belt, it's a waist belt. So I hope <laughs> I've got the right, right size. And the way it works, it makes it look like you're wearing two belts, but actually you're just wearing one. It's attached at the back, as you can see. And at the front, there's a thinner belt and then above it, a slightly thicker belt. So I'm just gonna put this on over this and see if I've even got the right size. I have no idea. I probably, oh, you can't see it. I'll show you in a second. I probably could have gone down one size, but then on the other hand, it does mean that I can wear this with, you know, over jackets, coats, cardigans, that kind of thing. Oh, the leather's really stiff, but it does fit. So that's a start. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. I wish I'd bought this before when I had seen it first on her channel. That is this Alexander McQueen double belt. Obviously not quite right with what I'm wearing right now, but it's just to show you what it looks like. Um, right, I have to get on with some things. We have a wedding to attend on Saturday and I'm going to be wearing Indian and all my Indian clothes are packed away in a suitcase. So I need to go and dig that out and just see if anything fits. God, I hope something fits. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I pick out. I was going to take you into the loft with me, but it was just too much to juggle. So I've got my suitcase down here with a whole load of clothes in there that I am going to choose one piece from to wear to the wedding. So let's have a look. I'll just put you up there so you can see what I'm doing. So, so far, I am thinking this beautiful Lenga, which I bought a while ago, I've never worn. So it's, it's new in the sense that it's new. I haven't worn it. Um, so I just need to find a blouse to wear on top. I'll probably wear it with this dupatta it's called. It's like a shawl that you wear over the tops. This is the blouse that it came with, which is a blue, really beautiful blue silk blouse, but I just think it's not, it's not really heavy enough for a wedding. So yeah, I'm gonna find a different blouse to wear with it. Ooh. What is this? I don't even remember this. <gasps> this, I could wear this. This is an all-in-one piece. If I fit into this, this would be beautiful and it's heavy enough for the wedding. Look at the work. Hold on, come closer. Look at the work on that. That's just the top half. So maybe that is, that is a contender mildly interrupted with my husband. He's can come down to do some conference calls in that room. So but I think I'm kind of done. I think I know what I'm gonna wear. It is probably going to be that golden one that I showed you the second thing. And I found the trousers to go with it as well. So we're kind of done. Just need to find the right jewelry and the right, and the right shoes, bag and all of that kind of stuff. And then we're done. Hello. You just come out the shower? Yeah. We're on half term. There is literally no privacy when you are on half term. I've just had to cut a little bit out because my daughter came out of the bathroom and she came into the frame and obviously I'm not allowed to put her in that. So I just remembered I've got two other things to show you that I just got recently. Well, three, I've already worn one of them. So you'll have seen that on my Instagram, <laughs> but two other things that are still in the bag. Let me show you. I'm actually back in the bathroom again because it seems that's the only place in this house where I get any privacy. I've actually just told my daughter, this is why I have done so little YouTube recently because in terms of vlogging that is, because every time I do anything, I'm kind of really subconscious about them being around and then not catching any of the kids in, in frame because they don't want to be in, they don't want to be seen in the videos. And anyway, if you are a mum, and you do YouTube. I would love to know how do you manage it because I find it infuriating. Anyway, 
let's be positive. I have a couple of things from Reese. I'm completely loving Reese at the moment. And there's, they just seem to be doing everything right in terms of what I want to be wearing right now. So the first thing you will have seen already on my Instagram, it's a roll neck cutaway jumper. It's just perfect for me. I love, I love that feeling of feeling cozy, but at the moment, anything too hot is just too hot. <laughs> so uh, having no sleeves is the perfect compromise. And I think I'm gonna go and get it in a couple of other colors because it's just like an everyday, nice jumper that's wearable indoors and outdoors because the minute I come indoors, I'm too hot, whereas that just works. And then I got a couple of other things while I was there. This one, I think I'm also going to get this in another color because they're just like really simple, everyday, but with a little bit of a style twist kind of thing. So I'm really loving that. It's a batwing sweater, as in like batwing sleeves. Look at those sleeves. And it's also got an asymmetric neckline. So it's a little bit like it's off the shoulder, but not quite off the shoulder, that kind of thing. And it's I love it. It's so soft and it's just really, it's just got a beautiful drape on it. So that was the first thing. And this, again, are another really kind of wear every day kind of piece, fabulous for layering, like to wear under a blazer, that kind of thing. It is a body, so I love the fact that it's gonna stay kind of secure, but it doesn't really add much bulk because it's very fine. And it's just basically a polo shirt, a black polo shirt, little sleeves, not too long. I hate long sleeves. If it's gonna be short, I want it short or like, you know, fully three quarter length. This is just the perfect length. And I think this only came in black. Maybe it came in navy, I don't know. But anyway, I got this in black and um, yeah, I love it. It's really, really soft. So I think I'm gonna pack those two things for Canada just to give me some options there. I'm gonna keep everything really neutral for what I'm gonna to take to Canada. I'm kind of almost thinking aloud with you guys right now. But basically, I, as you know, I went and then I sadly had to come straight back the next day. And because I knew that I wanted to go back, as in I actually wanted to do the trip, I haven't really unpacked, to be honest. <laughs> Everything is pretty much in place in the suitcase. And let me come a bit closer. And um, so I do need to take out a few lighter weight things like some dresses and stuff that I took because obviously it's a month later now and the weather will have changed in Toronto considerably it will be a lot colder than it was I think it's about 10 degrees colder than it was when I went in September <laughs> so I am gonna swap out a few of those things and add in a few jumpers instead but I'm pretty much packed for Toronto. So that's one less thing that I have to do this week. Obviously I have to do the whole PCR test again and a whole load of forms when you're going to Canada. Oh my God, you have to download their app, you have to fill out on their app, you have to do an Esther and there's just a lot. But thankfully I did it all last month, literally four weeks ago. So I, um, I kind of know what to do, I hope, she says, <laughs> I hope. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show you those things as well. I will link everything in the description box below in case you fancy checking any of them out. And I'll put sizes as well so that you can see what size I've got. I'm normally a size eight on top and a size eight to 10 bottom half. So that, that'll give you an idea. But um, yeah, on to the next thing on my to-do list. By the way, I think I might actually just film all my YouTube videos here in this bathroom because even though I don't actually get privacy in the bathroom, mums, you will also understand the minute I come to the bathroom, they think that it's time to come and talk to me through the door, but they still think it's time to come and talk to me. Um, but if there's anywhere I'm gonna get any privacy, it is here in the bathroom. So maybe all future YouTube videos from me will be filmed in the bathroom. Good morning everyone, it's actually afternoon. It's about 2.30 and I am rushing around, as I said yesterday, with a hundred different things to do before I go away to Canada. One of which is I have to go and pick up my next set of teeth trays because I'm not gonna be back in time for my next appointment for my Invisalign. Um, but I do have to change the, the teeth trays on time. <laughs> so I have to drive into town just to go and pick them up, which is a real pain. But on the other hand, I do want to make sure that I stick to my schedule. So we're heading into town. I'm literally just gonna go pick up my teeth trays, come straight back. Although I am thinking maybe I'll go to Reese on the way back. 
for that jumper that I was talking about I want to get another color at least one other color so I might do that on the way back we'll see right now I'm gonna get into town as quickly as possible I say that but the traffic back will always be horrendous wish me luck good morning everyone it has been a couple of days since we last spoke although you can see I'm wearing the same top I get into a top and then I love it and I'll wear it like four or five times that week uh, especially if I'm just at home which I am now anyway so yeah I hope it was a bit of a madness trying to pick up those teeth trays for my Invisalign because there just wasn't any parking my dentist is in Wimpole Street which is like you know right next to Harley Street there's no parking went around quite a few times could not get parking so in the end I just had to um, just like stop outside and then the receptionist brought it down for me so I've got those they are ready to go we are now um, a couple of days later <laughs> and it's just been mad it's been manic but I did get my hair done yesterday as you can see it's a little bit shorter I don't know if you can tell it is a little bit shorter I mean she blow dried it quite curly so it looks even shorter than it really is and she also blow dried it into a side parting like a proper proper side parting which I haven't done for ages um, mostly because my teenage daughters tell me that I shouldn't do a side parting and that a side parting is just not cool and that it has to be a center parting and anyway um yeah so I had my hair done and I wish I had taken you with me yesterday because yesterday I went back to see Osra who old like a, you, the OG followers here you will remember Osra she was in a lot of my videos at the beginning um and then what happened was she moved hairdressers and I found it really hard to go where she was going, just just logistics like parking and stuff like that. So I ended up like not going to her for the longest time. Actually, we worked it out yesterday. I hadn't been to her for about four and a half years. It'll be five years in April. So yeah, four and a half years, something like that. So yeah, it was really nice to see her and catch up, but also to have her do my hair because it's, I loved the way she did my hair in terms of the everything but especially the color and you guys always loved the color that she did i always got questions from you guys about what color was she doing and how what you know it was always a mix so i always had to find out from her what color she was putting into my hair anyway we went back to see ozra yesterday and um what else well we're on countdown now um i have got my pcr test today because it has to be within 72 hours of travel and last night i filled out all the forms so the only thing left to fill out is a little section where i have to put in my pcr test thing so all of that's done and oh yes um so i tried on those outfits you know the indian outfits for the wedding tomorrow gosh this is all over the place isn't it it's a bit how i'm feeling if we're honest if the video is all over the place it's a little bit how i'm feeling but i tried on the outfits and i think we're gonna go with the lighter colored kind of sparkly one except the trousers don't fit there's no stretch in them and i've obviously put on weight since i last wore them so i ended up buying a pair of silk trousers online which arrived which fit they're upstairs kind of all the creases are trying to fall out for me but while i was there i picked up a couple of other kind of staple items online and i thought i'd quickly open them with you now while i have my coffee and try them on and see if uh, if i take them with me to canada um, whether i keep them or whether i return them so let's open up that box and yeah let me know what you think of them i just put my coffee down there next to you so this is the box i've already opened the box because i had to take out the silk trousers which i said were hanging upstairs please excuse me the fact that i haven't put any makeup on or anything yet at all i've literally just got up and done my skincare so first up i needed a new pair of jeans or i think i need a new pair of jeans so hopefully these will be the ones oh, they look too small for me this is from i got all of this from matches by the way because they deliver the same day i know a couple of others do too i know metaporte does too but matches had what i wanted and they deliver the same day anyway these are straight leg kind of mid-wash i guess trousers uh jeans can't speak need my coffee um but yeah i'm gonna try these on actually the two items will go really well together so hopefully 
it's an outfit in one box. <laughs> and this is just a really beautiful woolen classic cable knit jumper. And I just thought it was about time. I have a cable knit jumper, which is really, really old. I've probably had it for about 20 years. And that's the thing, they never go out of fashion. They are classic. And once you have a good one, it lasts you for ages and it, so it's worth getting a good one. This is not ridiculously expensive, it's from a diffusion line, it's not from like the main designer line, but I just thought I loved the neckline because can you see it's not a roll neck. At the moment I'm finding it really hard to wear roll necks, I get really hot, really really hot. So this gives the illusion of you know a nice roll neck but actually none of that bulk around the neck and it's not too high, it's kind of just lovely. I don't, I can't do crew necks very well, I find them really unflattering on me. So this neckline is that happy medium, I love it, I love it, it's really gorgeous. I got this in the small, but it is an oversized kind of design. So you can see it is going to be a little bit big. Gosh, I might have to, I might have to actually exchange this for an extra small. I'll try them on and we'll see. So what do you think? Did you like it? Well, I've kept the jumper on. I'm definitely keeping it. Um, yeah, I've got two more busy days, but I was wondering whether I should do a meetup while I'm in Toronto. Maybe you'll see this beforehand and it'll be, there'll be enough time for me to organize a meetup. I'm going for two weeks. So actually definitely got enough time to do that. And then when I get back, I'm going to be on a mission to do my house up. Um, I think, you know, with, I think like everybody with lockdown and being in that, I know, God, that word is so, oh, it's loaded, isn't it? But, you know, having been in the house for so long at that time, and then once we were allowed out, we were just out, <laughs> out, out. And now I'm kind of looking back at the house thinking, I want to do it up. I really, really want to do it up, especially this room, because as you know, we had this time last year, we had a completely new floor put in here, that kind of leather floor. And it really needs kind of, the whole room needs doing up in keeping with the new floor. <laughs> Does that make sense? So yeah, that's, that's kind of the plan for the rest of this year. Oh, and completing my PT qualification. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of studying while I'm in Canada as well. I'm taking my books with me as it were. I'm taking my laptop because it's got all my lectures and stuff on there. Um, but yeah, so hopefully by the end of this year, your girl will be a qualified PT. I'm just trying to catch you up with stuff because I know it's been so long and now I'm going to be away for a couple of weeks. So I need to calm down. That coffee hasn't helped. I've had one little Nespresso pod and I'm like, ah, but I've got to get so much done today. And then we have the wedding tomorrow and then I leave on Sunday. Um, I ought to get changed out of this. I want to pack this. I want to take this with me. I'm going to do that now. Go and put some makeup on. I don't even know what I look like. I can't see myself in the little screen thingy. So I probably look like <laughs> but I have been using this in light serum. It's incredible. It's like an oil, basically. It's a serum, but an oily serum. And I've just been using that for the last three weeks. I've been doing it as a four week trial and I have uh, one week left. So my first week in Canada will be still using the in light serum. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, head over to my Instagram because I've been talking about it a lot there. I'm wearing no makeup. I have literally just cleaned my face. I mean, you may have other ideas, but I think my skin is looking really good right now. Um, I've literally just cleansed my face this morning and I've just put the serum on and that's it. And an eye cream and that's it. And that is my skin in natural light and no makeup, no concealer, no tinted moisturizer, no tinted serum, nothing. This is just my skin as it is. It's really, really kind of brought back that luster and that radiance and that glow and that suppleness and that just kind of like soft, smooth skin that moves with your hands when you touch it and kind of bounces back the plumpness and that kind of youthfulness. That's what it is. It's just giving me like that youthfulness back to my skin. Not that I want to look 12 years old, but you know what I mean? I want my skin to kind of just be 
useful, <laughs> I guess. I can't think of a better word right now. Probably need another coffee. Okay, I'm rambling. Oh, do you want to see my packing? I'll show you my packing. So I haven't finished entirely, but I basically didn't unpack when I came back from my 24 hour trip to and from Canada last month. Cause I thought, I know I want to go back. I'm definitely gonna go back. I've just got a few more bits. Whoops, there's a bra, a few more bits that I want to add in. But what I did last time basically was I put, I bought loads of these packing cubes, all different sizes. And so I know exactly what is where, like that is all sleep wear pajamas plus kind of other stuff that I like to use when I'm sleeping, like sleep masks and that kind of thing, uh, you know, like silk pillowcases in there. That is, well, I won't go through it all because it's a bit silly, but I have got everything in little packing cubes. Like I know that is all kind of like t-shirts and stuff like that. That is all bottom halves, trousers, jeans. I'm gonna add these blue jeans into that as well. That's all workout gear, trainers, slippers, kind of like, you know, chapel to wear around the house. I can't remember what's in there. I can't remember that one. That's all my hair stuff. I'm, it's just so, it's a revelation to me because I've never used these packing squares before. And when I got there and I showed these to my cousin when I kind of didn't unpack, but I opened up my suitcase. I didn't unpack there, obviously. I was only there for a few hours. Um, she was like, yeah, I've used these packing cases all the time. I've always used these packing cases, uh, but to me it's a revelation. Oh, I must show you these. I love these. So I know that my cousin will have for me, you know, shower gel, shampoo, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff, but I cannot be without my stories. Look, that is their body wash. And that is their body lotion. So I am taking those two with me. I'm also taking, just because they're nice and small, I've got my Color Wow Security Conditioner and Shampoo. So those are going in there as well. Anything, anything which has, which is liquid, I always put into Ziploc bags, just in case, you never know. And then I've got my bag, like carry-on bag upstairs and, and, I forgot to take more than one adapter last time. So I bought some at the airport last time. So they're going in, a little bit more underwear, and I might take a couple of extra pair of pajamas because I'm intending to do nothing. I'm not going out, out. I don't really want to go out. I've been to Toronto many times. So this time I'm literally just going to go and see my family, spend some quality time with my aunt. That's it. So, you know, basically I just want to take like leggings, sweatshirts, um, t-shirts. I might stay in pajamas all day just to kind of hang out with her. That's kind of my plan. <laughs> oh, right. I think I'm going to go and have a second coffee and I need to get people up. We have things to do and people are still fast asleep. We're in the first week of half term. I forgot to tell you that. We are in the first week of half term. My kids have two weeks of half term. This is the first week and so, you know, they're having a little bit of a lion but they have things to do and I have to get her to a doctor's appointment.